2023 Oscar are snubbing women and black performers. Something is not right here. More snubs, no Babylon love for Brad Pitt or Margot Robbie, same for the Woman King's Viola Davis and Till's Daniel Deadweiler. Even James Cameron was shut out of a nod for Best Director, despite Avatar The Way of Water's $2 billion and counting worldwide box office. I am Frederick, and apparently, Black performers like Daniel Deadweller, Viola Davis, Big Lover, were largely shut out. And I would like to talk about it because it looks like many offering from and staring black actors are being overlooked by the Academy. And I think that it's a big problem. The ones that did not get in there, Black Panther, uh, the first one did get nominated, but the second uh, one did not. Glass Onion, The Knives Out Mystery, yeah. did not make it in. Yeah. Babylon didn't make it in, and The Woman King. So in addition to Woman King, which was shut out, apparently, if you haven't seen this movie, please go to see this movie with uh, Viola Davis. It's amazing, empowering movie for women, for women of color, for any type of women. Absolutely love this movie, and visually it's beautiful. But also, um, Jordan Peele's from the movie Nope, it's a bit of a horror thriller movie. Absolutely love it as well because I love into horror movies. Wasn't nominated to any category until, well, also with that recognition, despite the stunt on from Daniela Deadwater. And as well, sorry, Dead Wheeler or Dead Wheeler, sorry for my pronunciation. And also for the best actor and actress and supporting actors and actress categories, there's several actors of colors, but only two black were nominated. So it was caused away by Henry and Golden Globe winner Angela Bassett. So Angela Bassett played in Black Panther Wakanda Forever. So that would be the number two. The number one is, was absolutely amazing. But it was as well shut down. Unlike the first Black Panther movie who sweat categories. And may I say something about Angelina Bassett? Did you realize that you are the first ever nominee from the Marvel Cinematic Universe? That's so I've been told. Yes. So I've been told. I, I didn't know that. What a drop dead gorgeous woman. This woman do not age. Look at this. And actually, not only she's a great actress. Let me, let's have a look how old is she. 64. Oh. The genetic. Unfair. <laughs> so, I'm quite uncomfortable with that. But actually, on 24 uh, nomination, 16 were never being nominated before. So, something is like a switch this year. So, I would like to dig a little bit more about it. Because when you're looking at the best um, actress, supporting actors, or even for the actors... Uh, I don't see any diversity. I don't see even a lot of women. And it's always quite repetitive. It's often the same name. But as well, some movies were surprisingly being snubbed and being put on the side. So let's just let's have a quick look, okay? One thing apparently was a delightful surprise is they got 11 nominations, is everything, everywhere, all at once. Are you with us? I am paying attention. Now you may only see a pile of receipts, but I see a story. I can see where this story is going. It does not look good of science fiction thriller to me was a category in horror but I have this movie I'm gonna watch it tonight with a glass of wine I can't wait so I don't want to see the trailer I don't want to see much about it but Top Gun as well was just nominated just for best picture the last Top Gun I saw it I'm not a boy I'm not into it but you know what? Why not? That doesn't bother me. But I'm going to tell you which type of list of categories was being totally snubbed about. And that doesn't make sense. So I already said Viola Davis from The Woman King. Eddie Redman from The Good Nurse. Great movie. Brad Pitt for Babylon. Adam Sandler for Hustler. Emma Thompson, good luck to you, Leo Grande. And Tom Cruise for Top Gun Maverick. So it's not the normal Oscar uh, recipes. And uh, I don't know, I always love a really good movie. But as well, to my surprise, and this is why I'm like, something is off here. Not one woman was nominated as well for the best director um, category. 
So even for the Woman King was directed by woman Gina Prince Bliffwood. Woman Talking was directed by Sarah Polly and After Sun directed by Charlotte Wells. Meanwhile, Steven Spielberg from the movie The Fablements, I don't know anything about this movie, so I'm not going to talk about it. Pick up his nymph, nymph. <laughs> I'm spitting on my screen. Nymph Best Director nomination. Steven P. Spielberg, okay. You have enough nomination. Give a bit of a room to the others. But not one woman. And one of my favorite movies from James Cameron, The Avatar, The Way of Water. I'm a baby water, so all the animation on the water was absolutely stunning. <laughs> Failed to earn him a directing nomination when he was nominated in 2009. And he only was nominated, apparently, for Best Picture. And I'm like, what? What? A movie that took 10 years to be created? And also, if you have Netflix, a few nominations worth to be mentioning. So Glass Onion at Knives Out Mystery. I saw it not long time ago. I like it, but not crazy about it. Blonde, starring Anna de Armas, gorgeous actress, very good actress. I was so excited about this movie. It's a movie about Marine Monroe. And I watched it five times and I thought, this is so sad and putting me in a really gloomy mood. Didn't like it at all. And the other one is All Quiet on the Western Front. I haven't watched it. But it's not the type of movie you're like, wow, wow. So it's like a big turn up. Pinocchio didn't make for the best picture. So I got this article from today and I just had a look at quickly at the video and pick up the best extract just to explain to you a little bit what's going on. Who doesn't like to watch a good movie or a good actress? But this is a bit surprising. So let's have a look at the first one. So for the best actor, we have Austin Butler for Elvis, a very great movie. I'm not an Elvis person. I still love quite a few songs, but this movie was absolutely amazing. Colin Farrell for The Banshee of Ini Sherin. Brandon Fraser for The Well, no idea. Paul Mescal for After Sun. And Bill Knight for Living. I've seen just Elvis movie and that was an amazing, amazing. But I, I like Colin Farrell as well and Bill Knight. But because they're European, so maybe that's why. Best supporting actors. I'm just putting those images all together because you're going to see, to me, I see a lot of white. And for the best supporting actor, you have all those actors. I'm not going to name everybody. But at least you have uh, Brian Terry Henry for Cause the Web, and it's a very good movie, so I'm interested. And K. Wayne Kwan from Everywhere, Everywhere, no, Everything, Everywhere, at All at Once for the best actress. And then you're going to understand why I decided to make this video <laughs> because it's like, should I talk about it? Should I? I definitely should talk about it, okay? So this is the look at the panel, okay? One Asian woman on five. Kate Blanchett, top actress. I saw her one day actually in Sydney in the traffic. She was driving a beautiful Porsche, gorgeous skin. Anna de Armas, okay. Andrea Rize Borrow, Michelle Williams for The Fablements. So that will be uh, the movie from Steven Spielberg. And Michelle Yeo, I hope she's going to win because she's never been nominated for all during all her acting career. And she's a great actress. Absolutely love it. Another woman, by the way, who doesn't age. And she's been nominated for the movie Everything Everywhere All at Once. Actually, how old is she? I'm just a bit curious. Don't you ever do that sometime? Um, just do a research to look for her. How old are they? 60 years old. Wow. Well, I want to know what you wish type of skincare she is. Again, it's genetics. Absolutely amazing. So I just want to know if you like me a little bit uncomfortable because I want to know where have these African-American actors or even just the black actors. You don't have to come from the States. Um, where are the women? Like the big presence, especially in directing. Um, this is going to be interesting. And if you want me, I'm going to keep a close eye when during the Oscar. Please let me know in the comment section, what do you think? Are you like me or you're just like, well, I don't care. And please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe, click, 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 click. Always nine times is good luck. <laughs> and thank you so much for being with me again in this video. Oh. Mm -hmm.
You take care of yourself. I'll see you to the next video. Ciao, ciao.